you know the man. Well, Patch, <laughs> the Rima, oh, because... Actually, I was kind of like my dad. This is Yeah. yeah. <laughs> studio we done recording something crazy amoro ye bi mote mananga ye zeli ye yo na koemba na kolota yo osali rezo ya sante nangai so kyo te amo sene kingai and because this guy he sing in criollo english italian lingala Russian. You speak Russian too? I don't speak, but I'm singing. Big one. In the big one. So this is me. And she's one of the best. Uh, father singer. No, it's not a father singer. It's like a opera. A fusion. Oh. Fusion singer. She does. Uh, she has to work with me. Sings with uh, with her voice. It's wow. It's out of this world. Yeah. You know this street is so dangerous. It is. Listen, when I left here. I was trying to cross the street here. I have to tell my people. See, I left this place because he told me, meet me outside. He didn't tell me that he was outside on the right. So I went there, there's a restaurant hidden there. I told you but then on the right side. restaurant is here. So I walk from here to here. And when I try to cross the street, you see a car like the way they come here? When you're there, you don't see it. So I almost died. <laughs> I almost fucking died. Imagine. End of story. The world would be just you and Trump. <laughs> the fuck? So this is my last studio session before the album comes out. In about two days, I'm sending everything to mastering and I'm not recording anything else. I have currently five studio sessions at the same time. I have me here. I just recorded with Paj de Rima and I'm doing like all the last vocals I need to put from me. Um, I have Lincha recording right now in Paris. I have Tony Sad recording right now in Brussels. I have Molare recording right now in Abidjan, Ivory Coast in Africa. And I have, I know there's one. And I have uh, Zano recording right now in South Africa. So this is total madness. Everybody's recording their vocals. Tonight I'm going to receive all the vocals. And tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm going to mix all these tracks inside the songs. Because all my vocals are already there, already mix everything. So I'm done. I close everything. I mix, listen to everything. I already received like half of the album mastered. I think I have like 25 tracks mastered. So there's 15 missing. And uh, then uh, sending everything ready to release for 14. And you know what the magic of technology is? Uh, back in 94, 96, even 98 when I recorded my second and first album. My first and second albums, 
um, I had to go to the studio with my whole equipment, which means that I would have to go with something like this. I would have to go with these things here and come with my computer, my samplers, all my racks and stuff, and then plug everything. And it would take days just to put the music out. And uh, in 2017, I come to the studio with this. Just this. Oh, okay. Uh, it's been crazy. I've been mixing for four days straight since I came back from Kinshasa. I've been mixing every day, like three, four songs. I think I, I think this is my last and mix number thirteen. I'm really. I've already received the mass, most of the masters from the album, and I'm about to upload to the stores. By tomorrow midnight, everything will be uploaded, ready to go, and hopefully I won't miss the release date that I fixed to myself of 14 of February. It is exhausting. I'm exhausted. Like, my ears are tired, my brain is tired, but... I read a very interesting article uh, about everything that's going on in, in, in the US and the world in general. Too much information is actually becoming distracting. There's so much information right now from real news, fake news, media, internet, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. There's so much news that actually the real news is uh, what is happening is the same that is happening for music. There's so much music that is being out every day and so many videos on YouTube and stuff that it's becoming really hard. Even if you have a quality product, it's becoming really hard to to have your your head out of the sea we are in an ocean a, a, literally an ocean of information and the real news the fake news the story your story mine everything is in a dense ocean of everything from the good stuff to the bad stuff and it's becoming more and more impossible to differentiate and um governments uh can use this against us because um, when something bad happens, uh, anything that is really important for us voters, they can flood us with posts on social media or have people, armies of elves, flood social media with posts that will become viral and then something will be more important than the real stuff. And I've seen this in France, like, the last government was obsessed with things that I didn't give a fuck about. When the real issues, nobody tackled them. And um, yeah, this is really becoming uh, increasing, increasing, fuck, increasingly difficult for the real information to exist right now nowadays. And um, and it's the same, like in, in terms of music. I can feel it like when you release a song today it's hard to to compete with not just the good music out there but to compete with everything and uh what is the solution i think the solution is uh building your own silos you know like like i do my instagram my youtube my facebook uh my stories my snapchat is where people the people who are interested in me they can meet me there and they can be part of this family and um, everybody else can continue living their life. I'm not forcing anyone. and Because uh, if not, yeah, you, you have to build islands on the sea. If not, yeah, you're swallowed by the sea. <laughs> Atitudes de princesa, bubanera de realeza, amigo boy, vinca, vinca.